everybody. I hope you're doing great. I am very excited because today I am launching my 41st book. Yes, 41 books so far. Yay! And I'm not speaking about ebooks, I'm speaking about real books. So uh, if you want to get a copy um, of this uh, fabulous book, I am uh, putting a link below this video so you can uh, get your copy and there's a lot of bonuses the book is called seven figure websites how to build a, a million dollar consulting business from scratch so i'm very excited to be here and um this um live is about the subject of how I got my client to reach $120,000 in six weeks. Yes. So how much was she making before our coaching? She was making uh, $15,000 to $20,000. After three weeks with my coaching program, she did $50,000. She left me a beautiful testimonial telling me how exciting that was for her and how life-changing it was. So what did I do? Step-by-step -step process to get someone from a 15K to 120K in no time. So the first thing that I did is that I, um, I changed her mindset. Uh, she had a lot of blocks on... Um, imagining even getting past the $50,000 mark. It was kind of big. So I want to do this with you as well. So if you can just stop a second what you're doing and imagine a number, uh, a goal that you'd like to achieve. Let's say it's $50,000 a month. So if you want to achieve $50,000 a month, you first have to see how you feel about it and kind of catch yourself to see if you're basically scared by that amount. I know I've coached a lady uh, recently, she couldn't get past the amount of earning $150,000. And so I first had to work with the mindset to get someone accustomed and used to getting to a higher number uh, in terms of income, in terms of sales, so we first have to break that, that barrier, that mental barrier. It's also what's called a terror barrier. Sometimes it is so scary to even think of big numbers that we prevent ourselves from going through crossing that terror barrier and we're stuck in this panic uh, feeling, this kind of terror feeling of going out of our comfort zone. So I use a lot of different mental techniques to get people out uh, to break that kind of uh, pattern, that kind of cycle, and to dare to break that uh, that barrier, uh, so that they can go on the other side and actually have uh, the mental ability to cope with larger numbers. So that's the first thing: is really the mindset. The second thing was to really make a decision and to create a goal. Uh, to achieve that result. So the first goal that we had together was to achieve $50,000 within three months. I found that was kind of reasonable um, and achievable. So I didn't want to start her pushing her to extremes. I have uh, done that in the past where I break all the barriers and reconstruct the neural pathways of somebody's um, uh, mental uh, or brain, if you want mind, and then by reprogramming the brain, we're able to achieve in gr even greater success in less amount of time. But since she just started with me, I thought I'll take it easy and not to scare her because I saw that 50,000 already was kind of a panic reaction on her, her end. Uh, not only of not knowing what she would do with such an amount of money, but also um, how she would deal with clients at that level. So, um, so I thought of starting her a little less first. So we wanted to get fifty thousand in three months. We ended up reaching fifty thousand in three weeks. 
which is kind of cool. Um, and uh, so we went after that with the end in mind. So the end in mind is how do I get now? What do I have to do now in order to get to that end result of 50,000 or 100,000 or a million dollars? So we start with the end in mind. For example, I wrote this book uh, about how to create a million dollar consulting business out of, out of scratch, seven figure websites. And basically, I explain in it how to uh, how to build a million dollar business in a year. It's really doable if you start with the end in mind. So you start with a piece of paper, and on it you will write that amount that you want to reach, and then you decon deconstruct the amount. You go from the end, and then you deconstruct it to reach uh, what you want to achieve in terms of action plan and goals are closer to your uh, your date. So, for example, with her, we went with 50,000 first in three months, and I asked her, okay, so how can we reach that? It would take, for example, five clients at $10,000 each. She's never uh, before sold $10,000 clients. So we had to figure out if she had value what was the value she could offer to increase her rates from 5,000, 6,000 to 10,000 a month. So we had to basically build together the, um, the training program or what, if she had enough value to sell what she was selling at a higher price. Um, often enough, people devaluate themselves. They have a low self-esteem, we have what's called the imposter syndrome. The imposter syndrome is thinking that somehow we're fraudulent. Somehow the prices we ask are too expensive. Somehow we got to get caught in a lie. Somehow somebody is going to discover that what we're doing is not real and that everything's going to fall, uh, crumble, and that we won't, uh, we won't ever be able to continue what we're doing. It's an imposter syndrome is common to even the most successful people because as you grow in success, things, be things become easier and easier for you to do. And because they're so easy to do, you're kind of frightened and thinking, how can I charge this much for something that's so easy for me to do? For example, I, I can write a book in four weeks, six weeks. For me, it's very easy because I've written 41 books. So I know there is one uh, for dummies book that I wrote in five weeks. It was a 400 pages book. So for me, it's very easy to do, but it doesn't mean that it's easy for everybody to do. So same thing for you. You might have skill sets that you develop to an expert level. And because of that, well, you think that it's very easy to do. And then you fear that if you charge too much, people are going to realize there's no value where actually there is value. So what we did with her, what I did is to actually see that, yes, there was value in what she was offering because she had, we developed her unique selling proposition, her USP. We also worked on her, uh, what's called an unfair advantage. What sets her apart uh, in terms of her experience, in terms of her past, in terms of her qualities, in terms of her skill set? What's her unfair advantage that would cause her price to go to uh, from 5,000 to 10,000 a month? So once I broke that mental uh, 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 blockage and that uh, mental barrier of thinking in terms of fear, in terms of um, this imposter syndrome and changed her mindsets, changed her belief system, then she was open to the idea of approaching her clients with an upsell to reach $10,000. She had never really thought of upsells. Uh, she had just had one program that she was offering everybody and she didn't know how to, she thought that was like the end. She didn't have anything better to offer after. And I taught her how to go from an upsell from a product that's already at four or $5,000 a month 
to an upsell at 10,000 or 15 or 20. So that was what we did together to get her to the next level of success. The other thing that I taught her is how to, to transform all her, um, all her uh, content and all that she had already as experience uh, into other formats. So to reformat some of her programs so that she could sell them in group coaching, for example, where then she could have um, 10, 15, 20 people that would attend an uh, online, of course, an online event, an online monthly coaching. And then she was able to reach that higher goal of 120,000 because suddenly she created an event and she had 40 people that showed up and everyone paid $1,000. And there she was, she had $40,000 made in one day. And then I trained her to upsell on that. She's on her course now to do a million dollars. But I'm just speaking of the first six weeks, how we went from quasi zero to $120,000 of sales, which is quite a good amount and a great amount because you can reinvest it afterwards in advertising, you can reinvest it in a structure, an administrative structure, delegating all your tasks because eventually if you really want to reach a million dollars and more get to that seven eight figures you have to be able to fire yourself meaning delegate most of everything in your business that's automatically done and done without you that's the only way to scale a business to that level <clears throat> so she did that group coaching what i also taught her is how to uh, use her uh, group and move the people that were on her page because she had built a, a business page up to like uh, I think it's 6,000 people and her group had only I believe somewhere along the lines of 400 people so I helped her move from the people on her page who were not really engaging to the people on her group who were really engaging to help her uh, sell within her group. She was also making a very big mistake. She was doing a kind of um, Zoom live events, and she was asking people from her group to sign up to the Zoom li live event, which meant for everybody in the group to add one step towards listening to her and finding out what she was doing. And because of that one extra step, she was losing a lot of people that didn't know how to find her, how to get uh, her um, information. And her live events, like all live events, can be really, really profitable. That's where you can really sell a lot of your products, a lot of your coaching, just in that uh, live. And so by losing people between the group, and her Zoom, well, I changed that. I put the live events within her Facebook groups and suddenly she skyrocketed. So she uh, basically went from zero, close to zero, 15,000 to 50,000 in uh, one month. She actually, in three weeks, she actually even uh, borrowed money to pay for my coaching to make sure that she could pay me And um, a little bit, it's difficult in just one line. Website who made uh, 
the total amount he did all prior year in within 21 days. So that was also phenomenal. He he broke records in his uh, in uh, the company he was working for because he was selling condos. They've never seen such an achievement. I had another woman who didn't sell. Uh, she was in real estate. She didn't sell for uh, two years. She was almost at the urge of a nervous breakdown, almost suicidal. And within three months, she was number one, the top sales agent in her entire uh, real estate brokerage franchises. Uh, she was selling like crazy uh, just after three months of coaching. So she went from no sales in two years to being number one in terms of sales in the entire country uh, in all the franchises from this uh, company. So one is mindset. It's also about goals. It's also about time management, how to manage your time to be able to be very, very efficient, to be able to leverage the time you have so that you can rake more uh, customers. And then it's about value. It's also about uh, breaking the fear barrier, that terror barrier. It's about being able to to sell your value, to be a great salesperson, to explain exactly what you're going to do for the other person, what that value really is so that the person doesn't necessarily, it's not a big burden or a big trauma to be able to give you the amount you ask for because the value you offer is greater than um, the money they pay you for it. So I always like to ask uh an amount that I know I'll bring 10 times that amount to the person. So if I ask for an amount, I know that I can bring them a 10x return on whatever they gave me as a coach. And that way I feel really, really good because I know that, you know, their investment is going to bring tremendous rewards. And at the same time, they feel good because when they see that within a month, they paid 10 months of my coaching, then they feel absolutely secure and uh, and we have fun because then uh, there's no uh, there's no limit to what we can achieve and what we can do and how many people we can bring really good value to. So I hope this uh, helped you. I hope it inspired you. I hope it motivated you. You can uh, pick up my uh, 41st book called uh, Seven Figure Website, How to Build a million dollar consulting business at a scratch from scratch and uh, that book is really aimed at everybody that wants to develop a consulting business or scale a business you could be a real estate invest investor a real estate broker you could be a plastic surgeon you could be a retailer you could have an e-commerce you could have any kind of business if you're an expert in your field i teach you how to uh, get to where you are, to a million dollar business and more using some proprietary techniques that I have developed in the last 15 years of doing what I do really, really well. If you wanna hire me, of course, you can just send me a, a message or email me at slavikainc at gmail.com just with the title, uh, please coach me, please consider me. Uh, you have to fill an application uh, just because I need to see if you actually um, if you actually are, um, are are a valid candidate because I cannot take everybody. And then if you uh, if you pass, then we go on a call and um, and we go from there. And then you're off to million dollar in business. So thank you for joining me uh, and thank you for uh, following me. And also, of course, share this video. Uh, go on my uh, Facebook group. That's also called Million Dollar Consulting. That's also the link is below. It's to teach you there's so much content about building a seven figure uh, business is really going to help you scale. And um, I hope I get to help you. I really seriously love helping people scale, love helping people uh, uh, transform from within and reach heights they never even thought possible before we went on a call. So that being said, 
Love you all. And I wish you a super great day. Bye.